Let us pray. O oh, great love, we give you thanks for this holy place and for the hallowed time we have spent here at Augustana. It has been said that life is like a sower who sowed seed in fertile soil, though also upon rocky soil and where thorns grew up to threaten the seed. We learn from the sower never to give up on ourselves nor on the one who sees potential in every individual and circumstance. It has been said that life is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. We learn from the mustard seed to value what seems small and of little account, but in fact is life's greatest secret. And it has been said that life is like a treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in great joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. We learn from the hidden treasure that life is often stumbled upon rather than purposefully searched for. Have confidence then in the one who has already hidden many surprises in the field that is your life. Be of good courage, friends. Expect extravagant surprises in every field upon every pathway. All this we pray in the many wonderful names of God. Amen. Students, faculty, parents, relatives, and friends, I hereby call the 2020 Augustana College Degree Conferral Ceremony to order. We are here live at Wallenberg Hall on Augustana's beautiful and award-winning campus. The sun has just broken through the storm clouds, an appropriate symbol for today. Let us take this opportunity to thank Dr. John Hurdy and the Augustana Choir for the wonderful performance of By the Mighty Mississippi. It really was spectacular. And I want to acknowledge Pastor Richard Priggy and congratulate him on his retirement after 21 years of outstanding service to Augustana College. Members of the class of 2020, it is my distinct honor to congratulate you on behalf of the faculty, staff, and trustees of Augustana College. We are so very proud of your accomplishments and may this day find you and your families safe and healthy. What a time it has been. We're celebrating your many accomplishments which have been made even greater by your incredible resilience during these uncertain times. Your plans and our plans have been interrupted in ways that none of us could have imagined. Within two weeks, your faculty, who are your passionate guides, accomplished the Herculean task of converting live classes to online classes, and you were quick to adapt too. While it is certain that this crisis will end, it's uncertain when and how. And I suspect that most of you are like me. We all like certainty. That's why I liked being an accounting major in college. I was certain that I had done everything right when the balance sheet balanced. And that's why I like being a college president. I cherish each year the predictable rhythm of the academic year. But like you, I've learned in the last months that there is very little certainty. The balance sheet seems unbalanced, and the rhythm of the year has an irregular beat. But students, there is much that is certain, and that which is certain certainly makes you one of the most esteemed classes in the 160-year history of Augustana College. After three and a half years of high-touch, small in-person classes, you move quickly to distance learning. This means that you can now be certain 
that you are adaptable and nimble. You can take great pride in your adaptability and it will serve you well for the rest of your lives. Plus, during this time, you have found that you are more connected to family and friends and those who love you than ever. We know that mutual support is mutually beneficial. And you and I are now both more certain than ever who makes up our support systems and how to provide support to others. When all of your classwork is completed and accounted for, you will be certain that you are a graduate of a premier liberal arts college and that you have put your mark on Augustana College through your advocacy, the student organizations and the teams you've led, and the lifelong bonds that you've created here. This crisis has not stopped you from demonstrating that you are courageous explorers and intelligent creators. I am so very proud of you. I often think of the words of Oliver Wendell Holmes Sr. at times like this. He wrote, I find the great thing in this world is not so much where we stand, but in what direction we're moving. To reach the port of heaven, he said, we must sometimes sail with the wind and sometimes against it. But we must sail, not drift or lie at anchor. I hope that an Augustana College education puts a wind at your back, but I also hope you have the courage to sail against the wind when you fight injustice. By knowing when to sail with the wind and sail against it, I believe that you will reach the port of growth, opportunity, and serenity. As the psalmist wrote, faith is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. In these times of uncertainty, when the path is not always clear, may your Augustana College education likewise be a lamp to guide your feet and a light for your path. Your education has given you the skills to think creatively, solve problems, and serve others during times of uncertainty. And your education provides you with the light and direction to take confident steps toward your life's goal. You will not lie at anchor, but with each step, you will grow in your confidence to make a mark on the world. And when you were my age, toward the end of your professional career, and when this virus is no more than a memory, you will remember these years as formative in developing a lifelong strength to deal with uncertainty with courage and determination. No disease defines your class or your generation. What defines your class from my observation of you is your sense of purpose and your sense that you want to make this world a better place just as you have made Augustana College a better place. The prophet Micah said, what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God? During this crisis, courageous members of your communities, healthcare workers, teachers, essential workers, and others who served us have demonstrated these traits. May their acts of justice, kindness, and humility provide an inspiration for you. And may your education illuminate your path in the years ahead. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce a member of the Augustana College Board, Dr. Millicent Knight, to deliver a message on behalf of the board. Dr. Knight is a member of the class of 1982, an optometrist, and a senior vice president of Essilor of America. Following Dr. Knight's comments will be Courtney Baker, a member of the class of 2020, to make comments on behalf of your class. I'd like to thank the Augustana Board of Trustees, President Balls, the faculty, and the graduates for the honor of delivering your 2020 commencement address. As an eye doctor, 2020 means a lot to me. However, today is about you. And if you feel a little blue about the change in format on this momentous occasion, I would, as a former basketball player, say, box the feeling out. 
Because out of this daunting situation comes an opportunity for each of us to do better and to be better, starting today. My talk today is on the best advice ever. And to be clear, I don't have it. But if you reflect long enough, you'll realize that you probably do. Recently, my pastor, Gerald Brooks, asked, have you ever been given advice and brushed it off only to wish you had taken it? How many remember Samson in the Bible? He was a Nazarite, and his mother upon his birth dedicated him to the principles called the Nazarite vows. And technically, this pledged him to a life of, number one, no alcohol, number two, never cutting his hair, and number three, avoiding that which is dead. How many failed after number one? <laughs> These vows were supposed to be advised for living your life effectively. Today, we might interpret these commandments a little more broadly to suggest no alcohol is a metaphor for having the discipline to say no to things that are not good for you. And occasionally, this may also mean saying no to yourself. Discipline is not an emotion, it is a decision. The hair analogy could be a commitment to continued personal growth. This is not a team sport. This is something you have to do for yourself. And lastly, avoiding that which is dead means avoiding what you have outgrown and is no longer necessary for your life's journey. Through my life's journey, here is the advice I have chosen not to ignore. Number one, keep God first. Family matters and integrity matters. Always remember, ability can take you to the top, but it is character and integrity that will keep you there. Number two, courage is tied to strength and strength is tied to wisdom. And number three, be good stewards of the resources you are given. In preparing my comments, I discovered some poignant nuggets of advice from many walks of life. Wendy Kopp, the founder of Teach for America Shares, always look around the table and invite in voices that are not heard. And if you're the one who can offer an unheard perspective, something that can move our shared humanity forward, have the courage to speak up, even when it feels difficult. And then Shimamanda Ngozi Adichie, the author of the best-selling book, Americana, said this about cliches. Life is short really means do something, have a purpose, the purpose does not need to be grand. Sometimes the smaller the purpose, the more meaningful. For instance, to be kind, to have empathy, to think of the humanity of other people, to try. You are at the beginning of many magical moments. So stand tall today and accept your degree from one of the finest institutions of higher learning in this country. We are all so very proud of you, proud of who you are now and who you will become. Life will continue to chisel and refine you. Keep the chisel sharp and grow into the best rendition of you. Parents, you should also stand tall Today, you deserve a medal. After many years of marriage, I wondered if I would ever know the joys and pains of being a mother. But one day, north of age 40, it finally happened. And by far, it has been my most important job. All schools can teach, but the value proposition for Augustana extends into nurturing your overall well-being. 
as an employer, I can teach you to do a job, but I can't teach you to be a fully engaged and developed individual choosing to contribute to the world. Your generation is shifting from a culture of consumption to conservation, and you will have to be the leaders and creators of the world you want to live in. Continue to work on your resiliency. You will need it on this journey called life. And in closing, I'd like to quote Pastor Priggy. Love matters. Sprinkle some of it on everything you do. Congratulations, Augustana 2020 graduates. Welcome class of 2020 and all who are here to share this day with us. I am honored to have been nominated to speak on behalf of our class. I know the journey to today has not been easy for many of us. Our first year at Augustana was met with eagerness to start a new chapter of our lives as independent individuals. Augustana welcomed us into its loving community and offered us a new place to call home. We were faced with new challenges and trying to define ourselves in our new environment. For some of us, the excitement of starting college would soon be replaced by feelings of hopelessness. Personally, this portion of my Augustana journey was the hardest. I felt lost, encountered many mental health struggles, and even dropped out of Augustana. But that is not where my story ended. I returned to Augustana our sophomore year and defied the odds by completing my degree on time and graduating with my original cohort I started with four long years ago. Augustana gave me the opportunity to defy the limitations others and myself have imposed. It has taught all of us to challenge the way we interact with the world. We have all had our moments where we defied the odds. Maybe it's when you became a first generation college graduate, when you challenged others to look at an issue a different way. Maybe it's when you persevered through the worst days or feelings of hopelessness to make it to today. Whatever your moment is, it's your own. It defines you, your strength, your courage. Behind every one of us and our moments of defiance stands a support network filled with people who love, care for, and encourage us. Now that we have made it to this celebratory day, I want you to thank them. Thank your professors who would let you sit and cry in their offices, the ones who you could talk to about anything and everything. Thank the professors who supported you on every bad day, but were also there to celebrate the little things. Thank the professors that guided you through some of the hardest or most confusing topics. Thank the campus staff that even on our worst days would still give us a smile or warm welcome in the CSL, library, or res halls. Thank your family and friends for helping you through the past few years. And thank Augustana as a whole for allowing us to experience the past four years together. As a class, we have defied the status quo by improving how major issues are addressed on our campus, like how mental health is perceived and approached, how students access medical services, how climate change is addressed, how Title IX issues are handled, and how many more issues are addressed on our campus. Now we must determine how we let our experiences define us going forward as we face current challenges. Our class is different from past classes. We are first of all celebrating our graduation day together from different rooms, states, or even countries. We're facing a worldwide pandemic as well as the typical challenges of college graduates. I urge you class of 2020, go make a difference, create positivity, and continue taking care of yourselves and others during this uncertain time. Defy the odds, just as we have learned to do through our time at Augustana. Pursue your next steps to reach your dream job, school, or even family. While you are showing the world how 
awesome Augie grads can be, remember that you are the only one who can define who you are. Remember the hard times, like changing to semesters our senior year. They will teach you how to be stronger and how strong you already are. Remember the accomplishments, like sneaking cookies out of the CSL. They will inspire you to set your dreams high and chase after them. Remember the fun times, like all the movie nights with your roommates. They will encourage you to make new friendships. Let those memories help define who you will become. The COVID-19 pandemic can be a defining moment for each one of us. Only the future can tell. But instead of focusing on the impossibles and the missed opportunities, use your Augustana degree and experiences to impact the world. Defy the odds and bring hope to others. Congratulations, class of 2020, and I hope to see you all in October. Best of luck on your next adventures. Thank you, Dr. Knight and Ms. Baker, for those outstanding words of wisdom and words of congratulation. May we take your advice to heart. Provost Hilton Morrow will now offer words of congratulations and then present the candidate degrees. Augustana College is committed to offering a challenging education that develops the qualities of mind, spirit, and body necessary for students to discern their life's call of leadership and service in a diverse and changing world. To our candidates for graduation, during your time at Augustana, you have grown in intellectual sophistication by demonstrating knowledge in at least one discipline, critiquing and constructing arguments, and demonstrating quantitative literacy. You've grown in interpersonal maturity by collaborating and communicating with an awareness of similarity and differences across cultural groups. And you've developed intrapersonal conviction through creative thinking, ethical citizenship, and intellectual curiosity. Not only have you met these key learning outcomes at Augustana, during this challenging time, you have exhibited great strength in resiliency, in adaptability, and in care and compassion. I will be proud to call each and every one of you a graduate of Augustana College, my own alma mater. And I'm not sure I've ever quite looked more forward to being able to say these words. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I wish to recommend the conferring of the degree of Bachelor of Arts on our candidates upon completion of the requirements. And the following words are more special to me than at any time during my 17 years at Augustana. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, by virtue of the authority vested in me and by the state of Illinois and the Board of Trustees and subject to your completion of the requirements, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts with all of the privileges, rights, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Welcome to the company of educated world citizens. Let us congratulate the Augustana College class of 2020. Our ceremony today is nearly concluded, but it would be far from complete without a words of thanks. Let's all give a thumbs up to the Augustana College faculty and staff. You've demonstrated that you serve your students you care about your students, and that you are among America's finest. Thank you, faculty and staff. And there is a final and very important group that I would like to recognize today. Students, you have sacrificed much to obtain your degree at Augustana, but others have sacrificed also. And first among them are likely your parents, relatives, and friends that have supported you for these last four years. Let us all give a thanks and thumbs up to all who have supported our Augustana College graduates. Thank you. And finally, we look forward to welcoming everyone back to Augustana 
for our live commencement in October. It will be a grand celebration, and I look forward to seeing you all in person. Students, faculty, parents, relatives, and friends, following the closing music performed by Dr. Charles Schmidt and two of your classmates, and the scrolling of the names of our Augustana College class of 2020, I call to close the 2020 Augustana College conferral ceremony. May God bless and keep the Augustana class of 2020.